Howdy folks, welcome back to the shipyard. It's been about a week since all of the reinforcement boosters have been released. And I wanted to take a moment to say a thank you for everything you guys did watching the videos, sharing, commenting, talking them up, musing about what's going on. I also wanted to do a wrap-up video and frankly give me an excuse to pull out the new camcorder, test it out, make sure everything's working all right. So, thoughts on the reinforcement boosters. These things are very interesting and they serve two purposes, right? Some of them are great boosters. Some of them you're going to pull and you're going to go, awesome, I'm going to go win the tournament, got the ship, helps my fleet, rock them, let's go. That's where the bio ship comes into play. That's probably where the Lakota fits in. Perhaps where the, the Tokat, maybe where the Aldara, the Balak, the Burak, who knows? I don't really know where those things fit in yet. Uh, maybe where Nunks Marauder. Don't really know. We're going to find out. Other boosters, you're sitting there and you're going, ah. Uh, does this really help me? Uh, is this really what's going to help me win a tournament? And the answer is, depends on the scenario. Some of these scenarios, very interesting fits for the blind boosters. Very interesting things that make you sit there and go, oh... That's how having a maneuverable ship comes into play. That's where having a cloaking ship comes into play. That's where having a ship with a 180 degree firing arc is going to help me out. That's where having a ship with a good secondary weapon like the Balak or the Aldara is going to come into play. We don't know. And here's the thing. You're pulling a random booster. And... Whenever that happens, there's an element of chance. So for the next year, Star Trek Attack Wing games have an element of chance. And for better or worse, that's going to shake up the game. Some people hate that. I personally am looking forward to that. Yeah, sometimes you're going to lose a tournament that you should have won because of a booster. But you know what? Sometimes you're going to win a game that you shouldn't have because of a a booster. And at the end, it's all going to balance itself out. The other thing here is, these boosters do more than just function in the tournament. They are ships that alter the course of the factions in the game. Fighters are never going to be the same because of upgraded phasers and weapon ports. Never. That doesn't mean that they will never exist and never show up in a tournament. But I think the days of the triple constitution, triple fighter list is dead. And I couldn't be more excited about that because that list needed to go die a fiery death, to be honest. It, it just needed to go away. No bones about it. Uh... But you know what? Some double fighter lists might still exist. And and some single fighter lists just as a method of saying, hey, you know what? They're out there. They can be out there. Um, here's the other thing. It's all okay. Yeah, you can do some really crazy shenanigans with upgraded phasers and type 8 phasers. You can get an Excelsior class ship up to five attack dice. And you can throw Sakona on there and, and make them basically free. And yeah, that's really cool. But ultimately, we just cut a ton of new options in 60 cards. 
And 60 cards haven't changed the game this much in a long, long time. WizKids did an amazing job with fundamentally shifting this game in different directions. They blew the doors wide open on the lists you can make. Now, is every single list viable? No, 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 no. Not at all. Are, are certain things going to go extinct? Yeah, you bet. Uh, things with scout cubes are already looking bad with the the Bioship Omega Pilot and, and Admiral Decker. Like, target a ship, give it a crit. Straight to the hole. You know, I, I, that's a problem. Uh, two, three whole ships, bam. They can be gone in a flash. So, at some point, you got to weigh the risks. But I love that. I love that we're in this point where you really have to consider every single thing that goes into your build. And yeah, shuttles are going to be this uber thing. But then attack cancellation comes back into play. Conditional surrender plays this role. And if that's playing a role, you have to have a way around it. And Gold Madrid comes into play. But if that's the thing, then Ready Room comes into play. But if that's the thing, then there's all kinds of counters. <laughs> so there's this chess match that goes on in, in fleet building, and you have to pick a way to go or two ways to go. And if you're doing that, then you have an imperfect list, and there's no such thing as a perfect list. And the more you do that, the more open this game becomes, and that is just awesome to me. So, <laughs> I'm rambling about some really cool things in the future of Star Trek Attack Wing. Um, Temporal Cold War 3 came in today, and I have the Zendis, the price ship. That's coming. That'll be November. Sorry for the super teaser, but it's here. Uh, the prize pack is also really cool. Can't show you anything there, but uh, think Q prize pack, except uh, this stuff is cool. I don't know that anything's as game changing as Admiral Q, but uh, maybe, or maybe more so, we'll find out. It, I had an uh oh moment, and I went, really? That exists? And then I thought some more about it, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, just, yeah, there, there's some cool stuff coming, guys. Um, really, really cool stuff. So, so stay tuned. Uh, the shipyard is going to do awesome stuff. The blind booster tournament is in big time prep. We are taking booster submissions until the end of the week, Friday night, 1159 Pacific time deadline. Get in your boosters. You will win a cool box of stuff from me. Like, just cool stuff. I'm not going to talk about what's in there, but uh, look forward to it. Because it's unique, it's just fun stuff, it's Star Trek Attack Wing, it's Star Trek stuff. So, um, yeah. It, more information, like the Facebook page. But I'm going to put a picture of the bracket up at the end, and uh, you can fill that out. It's also up on the Facebook page. So, you know, go fill it out. Have fun with it. If you've never filled it out, comment on the page. Message the page. I'll help you out with it. Uh, it's all meant for fun. And, and if you're totally wrong, then, then you'll laugh and, and you'll have fun with it. And that's totally cool. Uh, but yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care, guys.